Hola a todos, bonjour tout le monde, ahlan wa sahlan. My name is Elias and I was born and raised in Casablanca, Morocco, which is, all of you know uh, the movie Casablanca, right? Uh, th this is Morocco's economic capital. And today I want to share with you my project. It's called Momentum, Mission, Passion, Expression. Uh, you, you would be wondering why I'm here at Amance presenting to you my projects. Actually, because I had the opportunity to uh, travel the world and meet so many inspiring young leaders, social entrepreneurs, activists who were passionate to make change. And we decided to start a project together that I will be sharing with you today. So uh, I would like to start by quoting one of the most inspirational leaders in the 20th century, Mahatma Gandhi, who said, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Uh, let's take a moment and reflect about that. I think all of us here are maybe change makers, activists, or uh, really passionate about uh, making a change, an impact in our community. We want our voice to be heard. So uh, let's uh, start by looking at the outline of the presentation. Uh, my Eureka moment. This was the moment where uh, actually my interest for entrepreneurship started. It was at the World Youth Congress in Quebec City in Canada, uh, where we had the opportunity to meet with so many passionate young leaders uh, who uh, become country ambassadors for our projects. And uh, I will present who we are, who we serve, and what we offer, and finally, how you can help, how you can contribute to making positive change. So uh, this is a magazine that I used to contribute in back in Morocco. It's called Junior Mag, and it was a bilingual magazine for youth uh, in French and in Arabic. It started in 2002, and uh, it was actually at a very accessible price, uh, 15 dirhams, which is uh, no, no more than $2 roughly. Uh, but actually, I was really passionate about uh, uh, contributing and uh, see, seeing uh, actually dialogue happening in Morocco between uh, people who never met in person, just uh, through the magazine. Uh, you know, uh, actually, uh, there is so, so much we were sharing, success stories, interviews with artists, soccer players, uh, and role models. And uh, uh, through this magazine, I had the opportunity to really uh, have say and contribute. But uh, one time, uh, I, I went to the library, as I used to in Casablanca, and I could not find the magazine. I was wondering what happened. Uh, this is where economy comes. And uh, actually, it, I think uh, there was no more uh, interest actually from uh, the partners and uh, it ended. So I wanted to, uh, when I uh, moved to Canada in 2006, six years ago, I wanted to make change. So I decided to start my own nonprofit. Uh, this is a this is picture taken at the World Youth Congress in Quebec City. Uh, as you can see, youth in motion and education. These are topics that uh, all of us uh, student leaders are interested in. And uh, here, actually, we had a workshop where we, uh, we, uh, we discussed about topics such as democracy, how we can contribute uh, to change. By, and step by step, we built a magazine in 2009. This is uh, actually uh, a timeline of uh, my experiences. It started in 2007. Uh, actually, I took part in summer leadership program called Shadvali, and uh, it was the first time I take part in a program uh, focusing on science, technology, and entrepreneurship. Uh, after that, I was part of the ISEC, which is the world's uh, biggest student organization. Uh, maybe some of you here uh, already know about it. And finally, in 2011, uh, I took part in the Education Without Borders conference at Ta'lim Bila Hudud, where we had the opportunity to meet with uh, like-minded, inspiring young leaders who were eager to make change. Uh, my brother, uh, my twin brother, who is uh, the co-founder of the, the magazine, uh, is uh, actually a uh, uh, graduate from Université de Montréal uh, with a Bachelor of Law. I studied business, so we, can't, we kind of complement each other. Uh, as I said, this was my Eureka moment. Uh, and this is a picture actually taken recently at the Envision Arabia Summit. Uh, actually, its project started by the Arab Development Initiative. And I invite you to take a look uh, at the website arabdevelopment.com. I'm part of the communication team. And what we do is really uh, through uh, communication activities, workshops uh, in Montreal and uh, all over the Middle East in Dubai and other countries. We organize networking events with young professionals and social entrepreneurs. Uh, and we want to provide a platform uh, to make change happen in the Arab world. 
Uh, this is also a, another picture from the One Yang World Summit. It was organized in Zurich, Switzerland. And as you can see, there is the flag of Morocco next to the flag of Algeria <laughs> and the flag of Egypt. <laughs> so uh, we share all actually uh, maybe one common thing. Uh, it's, uh, it's one humanity where all uh, we care about our countries want to give back to our communities. And actually, you can find us on Facebook. Uh, our website uh, is MomentumWeb.org. And you can also follow us on Twitter at MomentumWeb. And uh, our mission is to empower youth through the use of new media. We don't use uh, uh, Facebook and uh, actually Twitter as tools to uh, have platform of communication. It's not only that, it's also uh, to really uh, give a say to, uh, to, to the youth uh, through uh, web TV documentaries uh, regarding issues such as uh, how to avoid corruption in our native countries, how to start projects together. And the goal is really to have a platform where uh, all youth can connect with each other and can uh, work on projects together. And uh, this is uh, our profile on Twitter. Uh, actually, uh, who we serve is youth basically from the age of uh, 15 to 35 who care about global issues and who are passionate about development, leadership, civic engagement, and community involvement. But it's not only that, it's also the fact that there is dialogue happening on the platform. And actually, uh, what's uh, really amazing is when you see, uh, for example, an uh, Indian uh, actually students going to Morocco for an internship program, or uh, an Egyptian student uh, contributing to change in countries such as Malaysia or uh, Mexico. And this is the Momentum magazine. I, I want to acknowledge the support of the Millennium Scholarship Foundation and of Taking It Global, which is actually a nonprofit uh, that started in Toronto. I used to work for them for two years. And uh, it's a social network uh, website for, for social change. It's really inspired me to build a similar website. We have partners uh, and supporters, not only from the Middle East, but also from Canada. And uh, where we need you is really, uh, we have country ambassadors. And we want to offer uh, a lot more. Uh, for now, we have an online multilingual magazine available for free uh, on the website. And we uh, organize webinars and workshops uh, on topics such as uh, how to make change happen uh, by using uh, social tools for social change. Or, for example, uh, this might seem obvious, but in Morocco, uh, a lot of youth, uh, they don't uh, know what a hashtag on Twitter means. Uh, and we can use these tools, uh, as you may have watched in the news, uh, during the Arab Spring, uh, we, we use the hashtags to uh, actually have collective leadership and to gather youth uh, to, to, to have say. And we want to organize roundtables and discussion forums, and finally, mentorship programs uh, with the uh, professors of management, entrepreneurship, and social entrepreneurs uh, to inspire the next generation of leaders. So this is uh, actually an article from uh, our experience in Turkey. It was at the Fifth World Youth Congress uh, in Istanbul. And as you can see, uh, this is picture taken uh, actually in a collective project that we worked on. It was an action project. And the idea was really to go uh, to see the local community and to live with them for uh, one week to experience uh, life uh, actually uh, not only as uh, visitors or guests, uh, but to, to see how we can empower uh, youth uh, by uh, taking part in uh, these activities. So uh, you can visit our website, momentumweb.org, or you can join us, uh, contact us by uh, email to info at momentumweb.org. Uh, I want to conclude by saying, let's always remember that our focus determines our reality, and that if we have a dream, we got to protect it. So uh, to quote back uh, Mahatma Gandhi, I want to say, let's all be the change we wish to see in the world. Thank you. Thank you.